Hey folks, today I'm gonna to be teaching you my top five tech tips to help you adapt during these coronavirus times. Coming up next on Tech Talk America. Hello everyone. As I am recording this video, the only story on the news is about the coronavirus. And it looks like life as we knew it is gonna be very different going forward. We now have to think about things like social distancing and our overall exposure to the outside world. So today I have put together a list of five tools to help you during these very difficult days ahead. And we're gonna start by talking about contactless payment solutions like Apple Pay, Venmo, and Google Pay. I would argue that one of the objects that we end up touching the most and passing along to others is money. Even when you're using something like a credit card, your fingers are touching a keypad that has been potentially handled by thousands of other people. And for that reason, I think this is a perfect time to register all of your credit cards with Apple Pay, or if you're an Android user with Google Pay. Now, since the majority of you who follow me are iPhone users, I wanna take a quick moment to show you how to set this up on your iPhone. So all you have to do is go here in your iPhone into settings, tap on where it says wallet and Apple Pay, and from here you can tap on where it says add card. And at that point, you can just enter in the details of your various credit cards, and that's it. So the next time that you're at a store, all you need to do is look for that logo. And that is the icon that indicates that contactless payments are accepted. So at checkout, all you need to do is double click the side button on your iPhone, and from here you'll see a list of all of your available credit cards, tap on the one that you want to use, and then just tap your iPhone to the credit card reader. You can also use this with your Apple Watch, but only if you enable a passcode. Another thing that's good to know about Apple Pay is that you can use it to send payments to other people. So let's say my cleaning lady, Purella DeVille, just finished sanitizing my house. I can just launch a new message to her, tap on the Apple Pay icon, and enter in the payment details. That's it. So at this point, Purella can link her bank account to Apple Pay and transfer the funds. I also wanted to give a shout out to another service called Venmo. And what I specifically like about Venmo is that you end up getting to create your own username, which you can safely put out there on your website or on social media without having to reveal your actual cell phone number. So for example, my profile name on Venmo is at Tech Talk America. And I have to say, as a YouTuber, I found Venmo to be incredibly helpful. It gives my fans a really easy way to help support my channel. To those of you out there who are parents whose kids are not able to go to school right now, I happen to think that one of the skills that is amazingly valuable for young people to master is the art of video editing. A lot of kids out there have cell phones these days with cameras that are perfectly capable of capturing content. So why not encourage them at this point in time to start creating? I would like to take a quick moment to remind you that I have a 90 minute free class all about how to use Final Cut Pro. And I have a link to that class down below in the video description. Two other resources on the topic of video editing, I wanna give shout outs to the folks at rippletraining.com who have a wide selection of different tutorials on video production, and also to Jeff Greenberg who has some amazing classes over on lynda.com. At number three, we have meal kit and meal delivery services. So here's the deal. In the last five years, I have tried Blue Apron, Purple Carrot, Green Chef, HelloFresh, Sun Basket, and probably one or two more. Now, I know a lot of people out there view these services like it's some sort of a luxury service, but what I can tell you, at least from my own experience, is that I found that my cost for food has actually gone down considerably. And a large part of that is because I'm not tempted by all of the other impulse purchases that we tend to make when we go to the grocery store. Another service that I want to give a shout out to is instacart.com, which if you've never heard of it, is a little bit like Uber for your groceries. Now, right now with so many things being out of stock, it may not be the best option present date, but I thought it was worthy of a mention. At number two, we have work at home solutions like Zoom. Now this tool is pretty much a must have app for anyone who wants to work from home. And for those of you out there who have watched my videos over the years, you've probably heard me mention at some point in time that I offer remote private lessons with folks who live all over the world. The software that I use to conduct those lessons is Zoom. And finally, at number one, we have video group chatting apps. Now, I'm sure you guys have heard of FaceTime and Skype, but I wanna take a moment to highlight one that you might have not heard of, a little app called 
House Party. House Party runs on pretty much every platform out there, and it allows you to video chat with up to eight other people at a time. It's free, and it's a great way to keep in touch with your loved ones over the next several months. Stay safe, everyone. This is David A. Cox with Tech Talk America. Class dismissed. Thank you.